Don't Stony visage. That's turned into an alive eye. Look at that. What? Oh my god, that's that's pretty sick actually. Nice model of an eyeball. Take it. Okay. I think you return this eyeball to the eye socket of the wall over here that we took the stony eye out of. But after that, I'm not quite sure what happens. Yeah, we want to return this to the eye socket here. It takes forever to walk. Suppose it's like that in the nightmare, you can't really run the nightmares. That's what adds to the horror aspect, I guess. Let's use this alive eye. Actually, let me examine it. I examine it first. I feel warmth. I feel the warmth of thy pity and gaze upon my face. You tried to redeem me, and I'm so grateful, yet there's no coming back. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, can we use this on the eye socket, please? Oh shit. I can't move. Something's happening. Where are those noises coming from? There's a maelstrom of thoughts in my head. This place is telling me my own story. Was I married then? So, you do not detest. What do we do now? Is that it? Eyeballs, eyeballs everywhere. This is crazy. My knife has blood on it. Maybe I should have used it again. Stab the eye. Yeah, actually, I want to try that because I. I think there might be something else to this thing. I wonder why we don't have the sacrificial knife anymore or the ritual knife. Can't use it, okay. I actually can't use that, period. Try lighting it on fire. <laughs> Pop your eyeball. Mask of the Divine. Nope, okay. I still can't run. So now we have to go down south of this tunnel. There's no northeast, southwest, so we can't really tell what direction we're really heading in. But it's south from this point. Cripes. What is that? Another symbol on the roof? So you see that face still. I was thinking. If I had the Mask of Truth, I would have tried it on that, but I don't. But when I saved here and reloaded, I had the Mask of Truth in my inventory, even though you can't take it off the central mirror, so... That was kind of weird. If you can or can't use it on that mask, on that face, I'm not sure. So there's light here now. I'm spazzing out with lag, that's good. Can I go this way? Hmm. I think I'll investigate this light. There's a light behind the corner. It seems a candle. When I stole her statue from the church, there were a lot of candles. As if they were lighting, as if they were singing ring, a ring of roses around Anna. My wife became blind with jealousy. Blithering, idiotic woman. She had never, she could never be as charming as Anna was. Nobody else can ever be. He was married to someone else, and Anna was a statue. Is that Anna? Candles, an ocean of candles. They are piercing my eyes. I remember what happened as if it were just happening right now. The candles outlined her marble body, so white and pure. So he fell in love with a statue over his wife? What the hell? That woman dared to deface it with a hammer. She defaced that statue. Curse her. I still feel my body shivering in anger. But it's just a statue. 
Are they hearts? No, they're masks. Is that what we have to do? Put the mask on her face? I found you. So this is Anna? She's a statue? My darlings! That baby? What the hell? He's got his ribs exposed. I had to do it. I should have murdered those children. You were screaming I could not bear it anymore. But I'm here now and I'll protect you. Forever and ever. So we stay here forever. Oh, we got a key event. Oh my god. Is this it? So we're stuck here forever? No way. Here and now I meet my destiny. No one will ever separate us again. She's got her face back. Okay. You're as beautiful as I remembered. It's just a statue. Honestly. This reminds me of that film Mannequin. And I still love you. I love you still. Now also, you are a part of me. Oh my <laughs> god. Shivers again. That's creepy, creepy, creepy stuff. Is that it? Yeah, looks like it. Don't know whether that was the good ending or the bad ending. Slow credit roll. We have completed the game. I'll do the other two endings. Yeah. Why is it so slow? My god. That was good though. I enjoyed that. Very creepy. That music is very loud. I keep saying creepy. Can't really think of anything else to say about it. It's just. Not like no jump scares as such. Well, apart from the weird alien things and ma floating masks and stuff like that. It was a good job for an independent team. Game by Dream Painter Software Design. Simon Talfegreri and Dean Painter's team. Programming. Theme printers, Art Divine Del Sorbo, Music and Audio, Chantry. Chantry, they did the music and audio. Good job. Indies for Indies. Why are the credits so slow? The credits shouldn't go that slowly. Andresso Monopoli, Francesca Vercelli, Luca Aspetto Macetti Kelly, Chantryband.com. All music written by Alessandro Monopoli. That is Italian, definitely. Vocalization and voice acting, Paolo Rod Rostango Gaergo, Ashley Quingen, Francesco G. Gallo. Anna Alwana Paparenda. Yeah, I can't say these names. Toto to Mamama. Susanna. Recorded and mixed by some guys. The pauses are very hard, that's one thing I can say about it. Pretty nice graphics. Pretty hard puzzles. Luckily I played through it so I actually knew what to do there at the end, but at the start I was completely lost. For a point and click, I don't really... I haven't played point and clicks in many years apart from the Esther which was not a point and click as such anyway. So. Decent length for seven quid, I guess. It's got three endings, so it's got replay value. Although you can replay from the point in that room where I was, where I said there are three endings in the attic, so you save a bit of time. A lot of people work on this for an independent game. 
pictures of Val de Aris, edited by Simon. Are they all just the same person? Simon Calvani, Simon Calvani, Simon Calvani. Marcio Helossi. Testers. People tested this game too. Toro Lambo Albonzo. Lando. Just two people. Two testers. QA testing. Game Cloud. Hmm. This is, music is kind of distracting me from doing my overview, which I would have done. Catering Manager's Pino Fasciano Pizza Hut. Ha! <laughs> That's hilarious. Hilarious. Southern Kitchen. Why am I reading this? I don't even know. Credit roll. But it was fun, the game. It was unnerving and it was creepy and weird and ambiguous. Hi Duke and Galactic Mega Director. What? Matteo Anelli. Right oh. Kinda weird it was called Anon yet similar to Dear Esther, which was another one about a ambiguous figure of a woman. Memory of Giovanna Alloyd, Mayor of Ass. Longest credit roll ever. If I had to give it a score, I'd give it 8.5 probably. As an independent game, but the price I wouldn't have paid, I don't know, about seven pounds. I think it's pretty decent like, but it doesn't have that much replay value. To be honest, but for an independent project, yeah, I mean, I think they should have charged Fiverr, would have been the best price for it. Probably, if you can get it in sales, it'll probably come up like three quid or something. Then, definitely bad for that price. I bought it because I looked at it and it looked like Amnesia and Dear Esther, and I thought I would enjoy this point and click car. But it's such a high rating, I had to get it. But yeah, I wouldn't have given it 94 to 100. Esther by Beautiful Nephew? What? They actually mentioned Esther, Esther there. That can't be the game, is it? Esther, my nephew. <laughs> yeah, this game is the nephew of Esther. I can spit out the marbles today. I know I've been tripling, tripling over words. So. Where is it? Oh yeah, the guitar solo, go for it. Yeah, man! The thing I always hate about point and click games is all the combinations you have to do. Like trying out spoon with pot, spoon with glass, spoon with water. Try and figure out what the hell you have to do. Combining stuff as well, like every item in your freaking inventory. Unless you actually go and look at a walkthrough, which is pointless then, because then what's the point? You've already, you know what to do, it's just like an interactive movie then. But I suppose it's about three hours long, so it's a pretty long movie. And how much do you pay for a movie? It's like seven quid anyway, so if you look at it in that light, it kind of makes sense. All in all, I've probably played for about five hours because I played through it last night as well when I didn't have a friggin' clue what to do. That music. Kind of like Evanescence. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> probably not. No, I like it. Me and Italy. Kinda of generic though. Why you put heavy metal in there? But... Nothing against heavy metal, just it's kinda of weird. 
it's lighter than a lot of heavy metal, so I guess that makes sense. Weird ambience in this game. Voice acting is a bit low for my liking. I mean, if it had been more pronounced and more, like, whispering directly in your ear. I mean, you got some of that whispering, which was definitely sends shivers up your spine. That whispering is the creepiest and the freakiest thing. Whenever you hear that. It's scarier than the shout sometimes it can be. Uh, so they did that right, but some of the dialogue was a bit low. But the ambience was definitely there. Uh, that mask disorientating you was classic use of the claustrophobic disorientating effects that horror games imply to give you that sense of unnervingness. Is that a word? Unnervingness? Yeah, I'm just talking bullshit right now. The credit roll was too long. Fuck's sake. Run out of things to say. I didn't even have anything to say in the first place, really. Yeah, I just, I'm just rambling right now. Anyway, that was Dear Anna. Dear Anna. <laughs> Dear Esther. Now that was Anna. And now let's have a look and see if we can get the alternative ending. Let's see what happens when we step into this black hole. Black hole of death. Oh shit, son. What's gonna happen? Examine what could it protect? Who could have built it little by little at advance? The dome growing nearer and nearer. Use it. I can't use it. Pick it up. Can I get that? I'm going into it. Can I use this? What? Wait, can I get through this by using something? Hang on. I have the face of truth, see that? If you reload, you get the face of truth. Oh no, this is just hiding that room, isn't it? With the... Dear Anna in it, or Anna, the statue. Which turns to light whenever you do this sequence. Okay, I get it now. Damn. I am disappointed. I thought that was the second ending, but apparently not. Yeah. At least I got the true ending. I think. What's this? We're blocked off by rocks. Oh. That's me. What's me? It was me all along. What was me all along? Oh shit. Bone's breaking. Oh, it's bleeding. Is that it? There's hands coming out of the eyes. What the hell? All these fertility symbols. <laughs> There's like a hundred, two hundred, perhaps even three hundred fertility symbols. What's the point of all this? It was me all along. What? Can we do anything with this? Is that it? Hmm. Curious. I don't understand. Can we go through the dark po portal now? No. Just taking us back to where we came from. Yeah, that's back to the start. We don't want to go that way. We're slow walking. Better cut this out. Okay. Got a passageway here. Is this where the darkness was? And still, still there. I thought I was getting an alternate ending. No such luck. I don't have anything I can use in that. Light it up with a lighter. Where's the second ending? I know where the third ending is. With uh, that, you go through the door. The the proper door that said you needed a key to get through it or a crowbar. I guess the third ending or the second. Sorry. 
I'm gonna stop it here because this is stupid. <laughs>